Hello, uh, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm going to be starting a session in a couple of seconds. So let's wait. And here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to today's session. Please let me know in the chat box if you can hear me and if the sound is working. So uh, let's get started. As soon as I know that you can hear me, I will continue. All right, I presume that I can be heard. So let's get started. So today is uh, showcasing web quests. My name is Nellie Deutsch. And uh, you've been working on your web quest for the past couple of uh, weeks. I think it's about five weeks. And uh, you've had a chance to try out a uh, web quest through Blogger. And one person has submitted their work, and that's Chrysovalentis. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Filippo from Greece. Well, actually, he's from the United Kingdom. And uh, he created a web quest that um, he submitted on March 5th. And I'm going to be walking you through his web quest. So uh, let's get started with the web quest. But before we get started, a little bit about web quests and the blogger. Now, blogger is actually a Google blog program where you can create a blog of your own for free. Let me uh, show you a little bit about it by going into Blogger. All you need to do, actually, is have a Gmail account. And um, let's start a tab. OK, so let me uh, start the screen sharing. Okay, it'll take a few seconds. And of course, everything is frozen as it's initializing. Okay. And I'm also recording this, by the way, through Camtasia. Uh, right now, um, WizIQ does not have a system whereby you can get the recording and upload it to YouTube, but that's going to happen in the very near future. So I'm glad you can hear me. Let me just continue here with the screen sharing. All right, so uh, I'm going to take off my video. Okay, let me just stop it if I can. No, it looks like I can. So I'm going to my video take you through as I said blogger okay so I hope you can see that let me just get the uh, location here and it's Google blogger but if you write blogger or Google blog you should be able to get it all right so here's blogger I'll click on blogger Okay, let me do that. Okay, so uh, here I am. All right, now these are my blogs. Okay, I've got quite a few. I've never counted them, but I have quite a few on Blogger. I have some on WordPress. I have others on I don't know, other blogs. I have no idea how many, but generally to find my blogs, I just write Nelly Deutsch and that's how I find them. All right, so we're going to start a new blog. Okay, this is how it's done. So if you uh, go into new blog, click on new blog. Okay, you write the name. So let's say I want to make a web quest on, um, I don't know on what should I make it? Mindfulness. I always get this. Mindfulness meditation okay i want to do a web quest on mindfulness meditation i'm going to call it web quest 
okay and the address is going to be let's see mindfulness is probably taken mindfulness um, web quest maybe that's not taken mindfulness web quest is not available i guess somebody else has done that um so mindfulness medit i don't know if you're allowed to make meditation web quest looks like that's taken too so um i'll call it mindfulness can't believe that's taken mindfulness meditation web quest one i think there's something wrong with the way i'm saying it so let's make it mindfulness meditation one word web quest i can always change uh, and that seems to be fine. I'll take off the one. Okay, so mindfulness meditation web quest. Even though I think the web quest can go off. Oh no, okay. Web quest. Okay, and then I click on create. And the web and the template, I can choose a template and create. That's how easy it is. Okay, now, there it is. I'm going to edit it, okay? And I'm going to edit it by going into Pages because I want to create pages. Notice I went to the right here, Pages. I want a page for each part of the web quest. Okay, there are six parts. I may wish to have seven. All right, so let's click on New Page. And I'm going to call it here, page. I'm going to call it introduction. Okay, that's the first. And then I'm going to uh, click on publish. Okay, so that's done. Okay, next I'm going to create another page. And this time I'm going to call it task. Okay, and click on publish. Next, I'm going to create another page, okay, new page, and I'm going to call it process. Okay, these are the parts of a web quest. The process is actually the steps. Okay, next one, next page is going to be the resources. Resources and then publish that. And then I'm going to create another one called evaluation. And the last one for now, because I want to also give credit, <clears throat> I'm going to call it conclusion. Okay, there, conclusion. I also want to have reflection because I think it's really important for students to reflect. So I'm going to add an additional one called reflection, reflecting on the process. Okay. And that's okay. And I noticed the it's backwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring these up. Okay. So that the first one is the introduction. Okay. So, uh, because I want that to be first, okay, and so on. All right, so I'm gonna to go to all seven and I'm going to view my blog and you'll see that it's backwards, okay? And you don't see anything, all right? So that means there's something wrong. I'm going to the design and let's go to the pages. I have to publish them, okay? so. Uh, I'm going to click on all the pages and I'm going to publish them. Okay, now they should be published. But let me make sure that the layout is correct. So on the layout here, okay, there's a layout. Okay, this is the layout of the blog. A Fevicon is just a, a little thing that you see in your browser for the website. Okay, now notice uh, the pages are not listed. And I want them listed at the top. Okay, so uh, OK, 
Okay, so let's see how we, um, we can fix that. Okay, because um, you want them at the top. Okay, and they're not. Okay, so uh, I'm going to choose this one because this blog, okay, the simple one doesn't have them at the top, and I want them at the top. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the design so that they can be at the top. Okay. I want them um, set up there at the top. All right, so um, okay, so this is where um, I decide on the design. I can decide on a background or how I want it. Okay, so you can play around with that and see how things go. I'm going to go into my blog to show you what it looks like before we get to um, the showcase. Okay, so uh, let me go to my next blog. Okay, my blogs. Okay, my mouse doesn't seem to be working here. Oh, my mouse is not. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go back to my blogs. Okay, and the blog that I created for this is called Create a Web Quest. Oh, I see 88 pe people have viewed it. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like. Okay, here's the blog. And this is what it will look like okay at the top you will have introduction task process resources and conclusion and you'll be working on each each by yes see i added a little uh all right, all right so, so um, i'm recording and uh, i'm going to stop it okay i wanted to show you how you can add to the page all right so um I'm and i added audio Okay, so basically that's how it's done. Oh no. Um, let me go back and uh, stop screen sharing and take you. Hello, Lakita. Good to see you. And take you to the next step. Okay, let me just fix this. I'm recording this and I want the um, recorder to get the full page. All right. So uh, the web quest, that was the web quest on bloggers. So the first thing you need to do is create a page, as I so showed you. So you create a page called introduction. Next, you create a page called task. You create a page called process. A page called resources, which are your links and a page called evaluation, where you will tell the students how you're going to evaluate them. Okay, and finally the conclusion. If you want, you can add a reflection. As I said, that's what I added. Okay, you can also create a page and give credit to those that helped you create the web quest, okay, which is something that um, I usually do on my web quest. All right, so let's take a look. Are there any questions so far? There I am. Sorry. Are there any questions so far about the web quest? Have you tried it? You can give me a thought. If not, try it. It's a great way for teachers, especially those that are kind of bored uh, or burnt out, to um, to try to make uh, their lessons a bit more exciting. Okay, so I suggest you try it using Blogger. It's really easy. And I've shared some of my web quests so you can see how it's done.
Excellent. Okay, that's great. Using Blogger, Lakita, is that what you use with your teachers? I'm going to be speaking about this at the uh, Spring Blog Festival, but I'm also going to talk about WordPress so that you have a choice. You can either use WordPress or you can use uh, Blogger, okay, whichever you like. And I'll talk more about the uh, Spring Blog Festival and uh, the sessions that we're going to have over the uh, next weekend. All right, so. Um, here it is. The session's going to be on March 15 at 4 p.m. EST. And I'll share the link with you in a minute. All right, so I'd like to show you what one of the participants did. Okay, this is a web quest on Greek celebrities. And as I said, it was created by, uh, let me get um, his full name. Okay, there it is. It's Chriso Valentis Filippo, okay, and he's from the United Kingdom. And this is what he did, okay. He created a, as you can see, these are the parts, okay. It's using Blogger. Here's Home, like Home is uh, where it's actually a blog. And he created an introduction, task, process, resources, evaluation and conclusion and he says the first page of my web quest okay so this is uh the home the front page of his web quest this is about him okay and uh, it's a new blog he just created it especially for the web quest okay feel free to ask questions as we go okay this is a pdf file i prefer powerpoint on the whiteboard, but um, that's fine. Okay, because it's a bit small, it's hard to read. In the introduction, this is what he wrote. Okay, this is the English part of the introduction. He's an English teacher, but uh, this is the Greek part. Okay, he teaches English to uh, Greek speakers, speakers of Greek. And he says, the introduction, the publisher of the weekly independent Greek newspaper, of London, and there's a name there in Greek that I, don't, I can't read, wants to add two new pages in the newspaper regarding the Greek, Greek celebrities. He decided to give the job to the person who will make the best pages in a competition. So it's a competition. Uh, the publishers ask from the people who will take part in the competition to include some of the following information about Greek celebrities, biography, some songs, if they're singers, films, if they are actors, pictures, and some gossip. So they're going to be competing for this. Hello, Helena. You are studying journalism and you are in your last year. This will be a great opportunity for you to show your talent as a journalist and get a job before even before you even graduate graduate you are going to create two newspaper pages which will be nice uh, organized and will provide all the information of greek celebrities that you need to make interesting and outstanding notice he's uh, not a native speaker of english so he's got some uh, little mistakes but these can be corrected okay that's not a problem but i think it's a great idea for a non-native speaker to try out a web quest with the students and maybe get feedback from native speakers who can go through the uh, web quest it is wonderful isn't it okay so that's the introduction next okay is the task and you can see here is the task the task is where you tell your students what they have to do more specifically the roles they have to play so you will need to create two newspaper pages that will present four greek celebrities in other words if they're in a team on a team then each one will do one celebrity 
you need to choose who you want to present, find pictures, songs, films, and so on. Once you finish, you will need to present the celebrities on your page using MoveNote. Okay, so here he introduces MoveNote. So Greek and English part. Okay, he's got it in both languages, which I think is a great idea if you know both languages. Okay, this is for some of you who um, teach English as a foreign language, and you can do this. Okay, next, the process. Okay, this is how he, the seven steps of the process in English and Greek. So the following guidelines will help you. Read the websites of the 10 Greek celebrities and the resources. The resources, remember, is where you add your uh, link, the links that you want your students to check out, and decide who will be the four that you will put on your page. In other words, don't forget that students work in teams and they have to come up with um, ideas. You know, they have to decide what is the best and then decide what they're going to choose. Write a summary of their biography write the latest news, not the last news, the latest news about their professional or personal lives, find videos and their best songs and films. This is a wonderful project. YouTube pictures and their websites, organize your pictures, videos, and tests, text on two pages. Convert your pages into PDF file. Upload your page in MoveNote and make a presentation of the celebrities in Greek. English, yeah, exactly, exactly. I don't know, do you know Italian? If not, someone could probably do it for you. So it's better to use WebQuest for, t oh, definitely teamwork, Lakita. I, I suggest, you mean to create? It's a good idea for teachers to even create their WebQuest together. Any kind of collaboration is a wonderful learning experience. Yes, for the two languages. Okay, so we're talking about the process. Don't forget the process are the steps. Okay, the guidelines, the instructions, and then the resources. Okay, they're all in Greek. Uh, these are the websites in Greek of 10 Greek celebrities. Okay, I love the Greek uh, alphabet, but I don't know how to read it. Okay, and then gossip websites, gossip TV news in Greek. Okay, these are places where the students, we don't want the students to waste time. And that's why the idea of resources that the teacher provides is really important because you want your students to read um, things that are going to take them somewhere. You don't want to teach them how to search. That's not the point of your, unless that's your web quest, uh, you know, how to search for things on uh, browsers or search engines. Okay. So uh, let's go on to the next page. Okay, this is the evaluation. Your grade will be based on, I see you took my idea. Your uh, spelling and grammar, 25 points. Uh, creativity, here you can create a, uh, a grid. Creativity and structure, the student produce something interesting, tidy, and put maximum effort. In. Well, that's hard to evaluate. Okay, these are very generalized, but a rubric would help with very specific things so that students don't feel that you weren't fair. Okay, so the more specific you are, the better it is for the students. Plus they have to read if they're not native speakers of English. And do the students present, and then the presentation, the move note presentation is 50 points. And then again, this is put in Greek. Conclusion. Okay, notice these are the parts on your Google Blogger. Conclusion, what have you learned about the lifestyle of Greek celebrities? What are the similarities and differences between the celebrities in your country and Greek celebrities? Oh, maybe this is for, for uh, students in the United Kingdom, I'm not sure. Do you have any favorite Greek star or Greek song? And then the same thing in Greek. And that's it. Okay, that's the web quest. But this is a PDF of the web quest. This is actually online. I don't have the link to it, but um, I was hoping the participant would be here, but he's not here. 
but this is what he created have any of you helena or claudia have you created a web quest yet this is a great idea for doing it in two languages or maybe more no that's okay you'll do it not yet okay all right so uh, again what you need to do is uh, let's go back to um, is go back to your blogger can you share your blogs in the chat so we can work on this uh, what have you done so far do you have a blog for the web quest if not you can do it right now so just let me know give me a smiley ups or down do you have a blog for the web quest okay so do you have google account a google account i don't have a blog yet but I, okay so let's start now what better time than right now all right so we've got time uh, it's never too late it's always the right time actually by the way next month or this month and next month we're going to be speaking about e-portfolio so that's for the next session so you should get ready for that and a blog is a great place to do your e-portfolio electronic portfolio okay so do you have gmail accounts yes okay claudio says yes okay so let me screen share what you have to do okay let me uh, start screening yes just open blogger oh excellent okay so if you go into your uh, account your gmail okay there is my gmail if you go into your gmail account you will see on the top right okay it'll give you your google information okay there it is and then oops let me just get rid of this okay and then you go into more under more you'll see blogger okay you click on blogger and you're ready to start okay so i'm on blogger and i showed you before um that i have a lot of blogs too many for my taste all right so here is the introduction the first thing you do is you create new pages one for the introduction but before that uh, let me go to the one before that this one that i created um here i created new pages one for the introduction task and so on okay and then i want these to be on top okay and um, tabs okay i want the pages to uh, but i have to write something in them okay so let me just um okay there's my reflection i want to show you uh just a second i wanted to show you how you can put them on top okay let me go back here okay what you need to do is you need to click on these and you need to view them okay and then of course you can share okay so let's start with the introduction that's your first page i don't want to share it no i don't want to share it um and you want to view it okay so there's the introduction Okay, so you write something under the introduction. I'm going to write, um, you're going, a mission. Okay, so you're going to learn to meditate using mindfulness so that you can teach others how to lower their stress levels okay 
lower their stress levels okay that's the uh, the main idea okay so that's the introduction and then I'm going to publish it okay you want to see it in the blog okay so there's my introduction and I still don't see it okay Okay, next I'm going to write the task and here I have to think. I have to think what I want, what roles I want them to have. Okay, because I want them to learn to meditate so they can help others. So maybe they can teach um, a friend. Okay, so teach a friend how to meditate. Teach one of your parents teach uh, a stranger and number four teach your siblings if you have if not uh, someone a friend's sibling or an aunt an uncle a relative okay so i can have let's say four roles of who you're going to teach to meditate um, lots of ideas it's open and that's how it's done so see if you can add first of all the parts of a web quest okay the introduction the task the process resources evaluation conclusion and reflection i'll tell you what is interesting about a web quest it requires thinking and i sometimes wonder about our students you know our students do not um spend a lot of Thinking. We want them to think. We don't just want them to uh, memorize information and do tests. We want them to think. And a web quest, creating a web quest, is a great way for teachers to think and model uh, a kind of thinking to their students. Students who do the web quest also have to think. So it's actually a web quest is a way to for teachers to think outside the box, even though they're using a very uh, formal kind of um, system, they still have to think outside the box because there's nothing out there that you can copy. It's uniquely yours and it's what you want your students to do. Okay, so, oh, let's see, Lakita, great. So I see you've got, okay, so let's uh, let's see what you've done so far. Uh, let's screen share and uh, see what you have there. Okay, so I'm going to screen share and take a look at what you have. I think I saw part of this. Georgia on my mind web quest. What a great idea. It looks lovely. Okay, so okay welcome to the web quest georgia on my mind and wonderful you've got all the parts that's excellent okay so uh, we've got home which is the page with changes you can make changes on this you can use it as a blog to the latest and then the introduction okay others ah, okay there's ah you've been asked to help increase the number oh you've got Voki here that's great uh, increase the number of people who visit Georgia. Very good. As a vacation spot, you will use certain resources and material to develop and share your ideas. The question you want to address is, what is the perfect vacation? Wonderful. And then they win a prize, or the one chosen gets to uh, go to Georgia or somewhere. Okay, so I don't, I don't know if this Voki is. Um, I don't hear it. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. If we can get it. Did you put something in the Voki? You have, you have been asked, asked to help increase the number of people who visit Georgia as a vacation spot. You will use certain resources and materials to develop and share your ideas. Have fun. Excellent. I love that. So Voki is an excellent way of doing this. Okay, and you embed, of course, uh, when you create a Voki, Voki is completely free. You can embed... Um, the HTML and this is what you get that's great all right perfect okay let's go on to the task let's see if you've got something under a task 
You are to provide a persuasive message in the form of a movie PowerPoint flyer that will encourage people to visit Georgia. You are to use any type of technology to assist you with this task. Uh, you will have an unlimited budget. Okay, so this is something that I think maybe you can add more information. It's a bit um, general to help students um, within the task. For example, you might want, if you're doing teamwork, you will need to have different roles and then they can work together. Uh, who are the people that you would need to work on such a uh, program? Okay, so you can give them different roles. And the process, okay, you will create a resource to indicate the place to visit or event to attend while in Georgia. So they will have to find a resource, I guess. What do you mean by create a resource? You will answer the following questions. They relate to the resource. What technology do you use? Why did you select this type of technology? I'm not sure how this fits in with um, websites. Technology in Georgia. Okay, it seems to be more about technology and less about presenting Georgia as um, a vacation spot. Even though these links do. Okay, so maybe you had two things in mind here. Uh, evaluation you haven't done yet and conclusion. Okay, so you're still working on it. At the end of this activity, you will have more knowledge about the history of Georgia. Okay, so you need to get this in the task that they will, one person will be in charge of the history of Georgia. Another one could be in charge of images. Okay, for the task, have a few roles. One person, as I said, in charge of history, uh, images, um, the technology that you'll be using maybe, okay, have different roles because one person might have a difficult time doing it and it's a lot better if they can work uh, in teams. But that's a great start. Listen, if you don't start, you won't see and you won't be able to improve it because there's a lot of work involved doing your first um, web quest. But once you do your first web quest, the rest is going to be easy. Okay, so uh, keep working on it. Um, okay, wonderful. Have you looked at my web quest? It may help. Okay, if you, um, Nelly Muller web quest. Okay, that's how I find it. Or you can write Nelly Deutsch web quest. And then, um, I have a whole, um, I don't know, it's from 2000 on how to build a web quest, how to come up with topics and so on. But, um, Let's see if I can find it. Web quests on literature. Okay, these are the ones. Uh, let me get the link for you. Take a look at them because I think that uh, if you follow them, you may also get ideas. Okay, let me get back to class. There's the link to the web quest. Okay, the, the first thing is really to start. Don't be afraid to start. Give yourself a chance. Um, you know, failure is part of um, your success. So, you know, you, you'll change things. And that's what's great about working online because you can keep changing it. You can always edit, delete, add things, uh, make changes. Yeah, just follow it. You can follow it and just make the changes uh, that you want. The last spin or uh, the perfect society. Okay, choose one of them. And at first, you may want to just follow it and then uh, you'll be free to... Uh, anybody else have something? Very good, Lakita. Anyone else have something? It's really important, especially if you're going to teach your teachers, to at least do a couple yourself so you get the hang of it, that it's easier to um, teach others. Thomas, have you created any, I mean, do you have a blogger that you uh, started, at least with the parts, I think, if I'm not mistaken? No time to fall. You've been pretty busy. That's true. Now you're probably recuperating. Okay, so take your time. 
um, it's easier when you have no choice. I created my first web quest because I had no choice. Uh, my second web quest, I'll, I mean, sometimes um, it's easier to do it when you have a need. Okay, if you've got students who are bored and you need to do something with them fast, you can create a web quest in a few hours. Okay, so um, if you're teaching, I would try it. If you're not teaching, uh, I would try it anyways, <laughs> even though there's no urgency. Okay, so try to do it. And then we'll take a look at it uh, next time. Don't forget, we're going to be focused on e-portfolios. Okay, and I think that's really important. Start thinking about yourself. How do you want to portray yourself? And uh, perhaps you can uh, do this on a Word document, or you can do it uh, on a blog. Um, I think... The, yeah, I think we, we're finished with a web quest. So next class is, um, I think, on Thursday. How do you get them in order? Um, that's a good question there. Um, you can move them around. If you go to your uh, web, your blogger, it allows you to move things around. But I think you need to have uh, Flash uh, updated or it doesn't work. And then you can just move them from the top to the bottom. You also need to set up the layout, your template. I think some of the templates um, act differently. If I have time, I think I, I showed you how it's done. I think there's, um, I created a YouTube video. If I'm not mistaken, there's a YouTube video that I created. You just move it up and down. But you don't have to use a blogger. You can also use uh, Tumblr or uh, TypePad or WordPress. Let's see if I can find the YouTube video on this. Or maybe you could probably find it faster. I shared it in, um, in the class. YouTube on WebQuest on Blogger. There it is. Creating a WebQuest on Blogger. I see that I created more than one. Oh, somebody created it in uh, Spanish. Wow, look at this. Um, I see that someone also created this on Spanish, which is really nice. Uh, let me share the one that I did. Oh, it's a friend of mine. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's see. Okay, here's mine. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can start a blog. Here it is. Okay, let me share it with you. Uh, there's, um, there's the YouTube video. I think it's kind of long. I think it's about 10 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, which, um, I mean, it should, be, yeah, it's 11, 11 minutes and 36 seconds. I call that long because I think that um, YouTube videos 
should be shorter. Vamos começar. Okay, I think this is a WebQuest no blogger. I'm not sure what this is. Um, it's by a friend of mine called Adelina. Uh, let's see if um, I don't know what she does here. I just... So this might work for you. There it is. If you're a Spanish speaker, you can watch it later on and tell me what uh, if that's about a web quest or not. She says something about no web quest, no blogger. Yeah, check it out, and I think it tells you exactly. Uh, Tom, did you watch the video? Because I think it tells you exactly how. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to how you can create your pages and. Um, move them around so that and add them to your um, front page to the top okay and let me know how that goes okay i hope that it's going to work out all right are there any questions or comments hello anna um we're talking about presenting the web quest this has been a, a pretty busy i guess February was a pretty busy month for most of us. I'm not sure whether you managed to finish it, but keep working on it and then uh, share it in the assignment. The assignment has no uh, date, so you can do it whenever you're ready. And then uh, we'll take a look. Um, we had one showcase, one person by the name of uh, Chris Ovalentis, uh, Filippo. He created a... Uh, web quest that I shared with you about Greek celebrities and I think that it followed the web quest quite well and don't forget the parts okay you need an introduction task process resources evaluation conclusion and you might want to give credit from the people that helped you Okay, so I'm going to be talking about this again. Okay, I'm going to be talking about using a blog to create a web quest or create a web quest on a blog. And uh, the talk is going to be on March 15 at 4 p.m. EST at the Spring Blog Festival. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there. We're going to have uh, our next session introducing ePortfolios. That's why I want you to think about how you want to present yourself on Thursday. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. And try the web quest. Okay, I've added that in the chat. So follow the YouTube video, and I hope that helps. So thank you. Thank you so much for joining this session. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on Thursday. Thank you. That's okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye bye.